So, this is um, another day in the coronavirus lockdown. I'm listening to different news channels from Fox to CNN to MSNBC and it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of good news going on. I mean, there's a few things, but it just seems like, yeah. Um, and the election's still going on. Food supplies are getting affected. People are getting um, upset and protesting in Michigan because of the stay-at-home orders and the arbitrary laws where some things are okay but other things aren't and you can't buy seeds to plant a garden even though it's springtime and that could be a food supply. People are idiots. Um, if they look at this virus as a potential for uh, going into another Great Depression era, um, they might want to resurrect some things that were done during that time period like victory gardens, grow as much as you can from home, um, learn to live simply, be thankful for what you have. My dad told me that if you're hungry enough, anything will taste good. So, you know, and then and then don't waste food. I think we have a very spoiled and indulging type of a country. And I mean, if, in times of plenty, it's nice to be able to indulge, but then in times of um, lack, you need to become inventive and um, be grateful because, I mean, I guess even one day on this earth is a gift. Any amount of living on this earth is a gift. And um, if you have been a horrible, rotten, bad, 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 horrible, rotten, bad person, um, you know, I'm sorry for you. And if horrible, rotten, bad, 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 horrible, rotten, horrible, rotten, bad, bad, bad things have happened to you, I'm sorry for you too. Recovery's possible. Um, and then if people don't want to forgive you for your bad, 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 horrible, rotten, bad, bad past, that's their choice. They don't have to. And they'll make their own mistakes because everyone makes their own mistakes. And we're looking for a new leader who has no mistakes. Um, good luck. Good luck. Politicians are all hypocrites, in my opinion. And doctors are not gods. And neither are pastors or preachers. They act like they have a direct channel to God. And then they hope you're going to send them money for giving you a message of hope. But it usually boils down to money. Um... Politics, religion, and sex go hand in hand with commerce and money. And then you have the stories that are told that usually, you know, all the truth doesn't quite come out. And then everyone gets to tell their own version of the story and have their own political opinions and philosophies and bipolarisms and their own issues or mental health issues. And um, we get to run around point fingers at everybody Hopefully just fingers, not guns, because if that happens, we have civil war going on. And um, that's not going to be fun or look good. So, but there is a thing that says if you point a finger at somebody to blame them, there's three pointing back at you, and there's one pointing up at God. That's a good thing. Now, if somebody's pointing fingers at you, there's three pointing back at them. If they point two fingers at you, it's probably a little more equalized. Those are bigger guns. So two fingers at you, there's two fingers at them and one at God. So it's a little more balanced. So for every one, two, three, four issues that they find with you, they've got at least four issues that they're dealing with too. Uh-huh. So all judgment is in some way, shape, or form self-judgment. Can you do that? Nanu, nanu. And may the force be with you and peace. Peace.